Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 18th of March. Starting off with the Brand Shield Systems, where we've broken this line of resistance. That was at 22 pence after bouncing off the float price, let's say, at 20 pence uh, earlier this month. View is that while we're above 22 pence on an end of day close basis, we could head up to the uh, top of that broadening triangle from back in December as high as 38 pence as soon as the end of next month. Someone uh, requested the following stock, which uh, I don't think I've looked at for quite a while, if at all, actually. Um, Capital is the uh, name of the stock, and uh, here we've got the uh, break of this line of resistance from September and the 200-day moving average at 66 pence, let's call it. At least while we're above 65 and that broken resistance line, we're looking towards the top of a broadening triangle from back in the summer, I suppose back in July, and uh, that's promising us a target as high as 95 pence by, I suppose, the end of next month, maybe going into May on that, maybe the next one to two months is the right time frame for that. A stock which I think has been in the news today, or at least uh, this week, is Kazira, and uh, it's got one of the signals that we can't ignore, which is a gap through the 50-day moving average. That's a blue line there at 1.41 pence. While we hold above that, looking for progress towards the top of a rising trend channel uh, that's been in place since October 2019, heading all up towards the 2.5 pence area. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe wait for an end-of-day close back above the initial February resistance, which I suppose was around uh, 1.69 pence. So 1.69 pence plus should take us on to 2.5 pence for Kazira as soon as the end of next month. Stock which I've uh, managed to acquire a soft spot for, largely because it's behaved itself in um, recent days and weeks, is uh, Core Potash. Uh, here we've got the uh, break of that uh, triangle, which was in place from June, and resistance line there around the 1.1 pence level. Uh, that was actually yesterday's low, so the shares uh, back tested that yesterday and have uh, flown higher since. Uh, all we need now really maybe is an end of day close back above uh, 1.5 pence, which was Tuesday's resistance. And we could be on our way towards 2.2 pence at the top of the rising June trend channel as soon as the end of next month. And I suppose the way things are going, maybe even by the end of this month. A bit of a lap of honour for uh, Codal or on Codal. Uh, here you can see that uh, the shares just nudged the uh, resistance line target that we had uh, from September. That was around what's well, today's height at uh, 0 0.23 and a half. I call it 0 0.23. If we can get an end of day close or a weekly close back above 2.3, the next target here for Codal would be as high as uh, 0.35, which is the top of the rising trend channel from July 2019. Bull argument in place while we hold above that old September peak of 0.14 pence on an end of day close basis. So above 0.14, looking for as high as 0.35 on Codal. It's been a bit of a tough battle with uh, Mode Global in recent weeks. Uh, I suppose uh, we've had uh, an extended uh, support test for the shares at the floor of this rising trend channel from October. But apparently, if you believe social media, the seller is finally out and an end of day close above the initial March resistance at 61 pence should be enough finally to take the shares up towards the top of the rising trend channel from last year. That's currently promising a target, promising us a target as high as 90 pence as soon as the end of next month. Nice key reversal to the upside as well today, narrowly breaking yesterday's low and then powering ahead. Ideally, you would not want to see the shares back below the 50-day line at 55, 56 pence, or whatever happens, but it does look as though the shares are finally on their way. Uh, moving along to a stock which is uh, perhaps less high profile at the moment, but uh, could come up with the goods over the near term. Here we've seen, uh, or can see, Mycelix, so Mycelix Technologies hit that uh, resistance line target that was there from the end of September, just around the 41 pence level. End of day close above 41 pence could give us a new leg to the upside, and that would be a July resistance line projection target as high as 52 pence by the end of next month. Bull argument very much in force while we hold above the old December peak at 35 pence on an end of day close basis, so above 35 looking for 52 on that particular situation. Mobile streams, uh, I know it's quite popular amongst the punters. Uh, here we've got uh, a gap through the 50-day moving average after a narrow bear trap that we had a couple of days ago. So that's a double signal really, so looking good. Bit of bullish divergence there in the RSI window, which was flagging the possibility of a move to the upside. 
All we're really uh, waiting for now is an end of day close through 0.3 pence, which is that uh, resistance line there from uh, back in May last year. A decent clearance of that either on an end of day or weekly close basis above 0.3 pence should be enough to take the shares on to a possible 0.6 pence target over the next one to two months, which is the top of last year's trend channel. Only back below the 50 day line currently at uh, 0.24 and back below the floor of the gap really delaying the upside scenario on mobile streams. A stock which is uh, also looking quite perky at the moment is Mobility One. Here you can see that uh, shares have broken that line of resistance from August. Uh, that level which was broken was at uh, 12 pence and above that and uh, in the wake of today's gap to the upside looking quite chirpy in terms of the technicals. An end of day close above the uh, February peak at 14 pence which it looks as though we will get should take the shares up to as high as 30 pence as soon as the end of next month or maybe going into May but uh, ideally by the end of next month. Looked at quiz a couple of times in the recent past and uh, here it is again uh, shaping up on the basis that uh, we've broken through February resistance at 11 pence uh, end of day close or a weekly close above that should be enough to start uh, a journey to the upside for this stock. Uh, just how high we're going to fly is suggested by top of a rising trend channel as high, well, currently pointing to 25 pence. I suppose the initial target would be around 14-15 uh, pence which is the uh, the lower trend channel target let's say but uh, looking for 25 pence on any break of 15 and uh, the upside argument is certainly valid while we hold above the 11 pence level. Only back below the 50 day moving average just under 9 pence at the moment really delaying the upside scenario for quiz at the moment. A few days with the share price of um, Ridgecrest on the back foot but uh, a flurry of TR1s today suggests that uh, the uh, smart money and the uh, the big money perhaps is uh, back in the stock and was just waiting for the right price. Uh, here we've got a key reversal to the upside i.e. breaking yesterday's low and then uh, breaking back above it. Uh, yesterday's high was 2.4 pence so a decent close above 2.4 should be enough to get the shares back onto our previously suggested target at 5 pence. If you're looking for further evidence of bullishness maybe wait for uh, an end of day close through 2.6 pence which is this month's resistance line. So uh, uh, looking good for Ridgecrest above 2.6 certainly and uh, the bull argument constructive remains constructive while we hold above the four the rising trend channel from January as uh, at the uh, 2.1 pence level so uh, we're still in the bull mode above 2.1 pence for Ridgecrest. Uh, interviewed Supply Me uh, the other day and um, looks as though uh, it was re relatively well received uh, that said at least on the basis of the share price. I've had a few days uh, for the stock uh, sort of probing either side of the 50 day moving average and the floor of the rising trend channel from November that's nominally around the 0.49 pence level and uh, holding 0.49 we should get try and retest the uh, December peak around 0.7 pence. Overall we've got a rising trend channel here which uh, has its resistance line projection of 1.2 pence which uh, I'm sure fans of the stock will be uh, dreaming of quite happily at the moment but uh, if you are cautious maybe wait for a clearance of 0.6 which is a resistance line there from the end of December that might be the trigger to accelerate the price action on supply me over the next few sessions. Just a couple of stocks to go now. First one is uh, San Leon which uh, uh, updated the market uh, earlier in the week. Uh, we had uh, that temporary bear trap uh, below the 50 day moving average and below 30 pence uh, but we never went uh, below the top of the gap the as yet unfilled gap through resistance from February which is actually a bullish setup as was the very strong hammer candle that we had on Tuesday. Current situation is that we're looking for just an end of day close through 37 pence in that February resistance line to give us a top of October trend channel target as high as 50 pence by the end of next month. The uh, unfilled gap to the upside setup is normally one of the strongest ones around so let's see if that actually develops in the right way. Last stock on the roster today is Webis where we're revisiting the uh, setup that we had before looking for the top of the rising or the broadening triangle on the daily chart from June. That had a, an implied target as high as 4.6, 4.7 pence and we've just nudged that as the high of the day so far. End of day close through 4.7 pence today's 
peak could take the shares up to a fresh leg to the upside, which would be a January resistance line projection, promising as high as 7 pence by the end of next month. In terms of the money management, the upside valid while we hold above the uh, old June peak from last year as high as uh, 3.7 pence, so above 3.7, looking for a best case scenario target at Webis up towards 7 pence over the near term. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.